greeting the crocodile. Salam alaikum. Yeah, <laughs> Salam alaikum, ya crocodile. No. <laughs> Let's break the. <laughs> He's gonna break the fast. It's iftar time. What is up and welcome back to another episode of IJ Reaction. Salamat pagi, salamat siyang, salamat sore, salamat malam. Salang perde mo digan mo, apa kabar? Today we're gonna watch another video of Chris and Hansen, a great YouTuber who lives in Indonesia and he's making extremely informative and entertaining videos about Indonesia. If you are curious to know about his journey and Indonesia, there's a link in the description of the video. Make sure to be subscribed to his channel and enjoy watching his videos. The name of the video that we're gonna watch is Meeting the Crocodile Man of Indonesia, Buntang East Borneo. I'm super excited to check it out. Without further ado, let's jump in. So that's yup, mari kita mulai. Let's do it. What happened? In today's episode, from Sabang to Morocco, I once again cross the equator line as I head for the small city of Bontang in East Kalimantan. Kalimantan. There I seek out the viral YouTuber Pa Ambo, also known as the Crocodile Man of Indonesia. And He's together we go on a small wooden boat deep into the mangroves to visit his extraordinary pet and family friend, the five meter this long is unreal. crocodile. <laughs> He's petting the crocodile. Kalimantan. Selamat pagi, guys. <laughs> this morning I'm continuing my journey here from Samarinda and going to a place called Bontang. Because in Bontang, I'll be meeting a man who has a very special pet. <laughs> so uh, let's get back on the road and massive thank you a to Aston and Samarinda. Had the most incredible stay. The staff here, the room, the view, everything they have done for me. I am so grateful. So if you're the staff, watching the video now from Aston Samarinda. Thank you so much, guys. God bless you. Let's go. Christian is a great guy. Ooh, Machan is ready. Teddy, thank you so much. Thank you so much. See you guys. Okay. Let's go. On the Let's hit the road. I can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> hey, it's good to be back, baby. Looks like a nice place. My mechanic who helped me fix my horn the other day hit a falling off. He insisted that he would not let me pay for fixing my horn. Such a kind guy. Bro, people are so nice and, and guys, generous. We are actually in the middle the of sign Ramadan is in the middle of right now. Horn. So uh, I have decided this year not to make a Ramadan video because the fact that I have already made two videos about Ramadan showing how I tried fasting and they all went really you really well I learned that a video. lot from it but I did not see the point in making a third Ramadan video of me fasting and I have so many other things I still want to film here in Kalimantan and highlight from Too Kalimantan many bikers and I also didn't want people to think, ah, Christine is just making Ramadan videos for extra likes, views, whatever. <laughs> so uh, that is why That's guys, not I'm definitely so sorry, the reason. There will not be a dedicated videos, Ramadan know video that, this year of You're me a fasting. Great person. And I hope you can all understand. Because You're not we making have videos a to get views. Of other things to cover that we haven't covered before. Guys, there is something in my videos that I have not been mentioning enough. And. Now I see another example of it and it's time for me to highlight it. One of the worst things I see on my trips is kids on scooters without helmets. And that is really I don't dangerous. like to oh portray goodness. the certain people that do it. I mean, you, as you can see here, we have one fright in front of me doing it. And it's not to show their faces and shame them, but it's just like a general thing. Like, guys, if you ride with your kids, always make sure they Safety put on a helmet comes they are the first. most important thing in your life you know and imagine if you crashed wearing a helmet yeah, your God kid forbid didn't if wear anything a helmet happens and then you crashed and the your kid passed away how would really you feel i mean 
I simply do not understand. You can get a helmet Sorrowful. on Tokopedia for 100,000 rupiah. Please. I'm almost, I would offer to pay for your kid's helmet if it wasn't because I would get a thousand messages and I would be run out of money so fast. But guys, please, please, please put helmets on your kids. Hey, guys, I didn't even realize this. We got there? Oh, yeah, that was close. But right now, I am actually at the equator point of East Kalimantan. Katulistiwa Kalimantan Timor, I believe it's called. <laughs> Interesting. Tuku Equator, Kalimantan Timor. Nice. So today we are actually crossing equator <laughs> once again. We crossed equator back when we were in Kalbar in Pontianak and now we have done it again here in East Kalimantan. <laughs> the only difference is that it's been six months since the last time we did it. I think this is the first time there in my life, life that I'm seeing the see equator. To zero points. But there is something special about knowing that you're crossing the equator line. And especially when the icon of Indonesia flies gracefully above you while doing so. All right, guys, great little stop here at Katulistiwa in Kaltim Titikno. Just look at the beauty of the place. <laughs> it is also time to go because I have to get to the hotel now and it's starting to raining a bit, but I met a couple of friends here. Hi, guys. Hati hati di jalan ya. Wherever he goes, people are so welcoming and nice. You know guys, some of these driving days when I'm on the road, I'm not really in photo selfie mode, so I try to stop at places where there's not so many people. And if a lot of people suddenly show up, then I might continue, you know? Some days for me, it's also nice to yeah, just have a day to myself, you For know, a and just be, I thought that he's not be the YouTuber, but just doing be voiceover on the video. another tourist traveling around. But <laughs> he's speaking at that moment. And actually, I'm not just heading to Pontang just to meet Pa Ambo, but after I've met with Pa Ambo, I will continue to something called Maratua, wow. which is some extremely beautiful islands off the coast it of East Kalimantan. It is mesmerizing. Probably the most popular, like, exotic destination Bro, in look Kalimantan. at that. So That's so beautiful. I've been waiting ever since I flew to Kalbar back it's in like September a big for this pool. song. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for this. That is what I was saying. I, I so, wanted to say that Kristen is doing solo recording, guys. And honestly, what he is doing is priceless and it's really difficult he's given us a great sound an incredible shot he's recording with two gopros and this is the result of the editing of his video but he's putting a lot of effort behind these videos for us oh yeah first we gotta go and meet pa ambo and his pet riska maybe some of you know it already Hello. Hello. Rose pet is a crocodile. Dia? Ah. Kenapa ada itu? Kenapa sakit? Hah? Enggak tahu. Ini. The guy says it's a lie. Tapi tidak tahu kenapa anak sakit. Dari bayi. Dari bayi. Daddy. No, sorry guys, my bad. Bye. Oh, it's not it a lie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Semangat, yeah? He is such a generous guy. Huh? Banyak rezeki. Okay. Dada. I always feel a bit weird about donating to something like this because you know people standing on the side of the street are 
are they actually collecting money for that said child that is in need of an operation or not? You never really know, but there's no way to know, understand. Gotta that. have faith in other people. There you go. Up All right, break, guys, break. we made it here to Hotel Bintang Sintuk Ooh, in Nice Pondang. location for that and hotel. And everything looks in really, the heart really of that nice. beautiful I'm very nature. Happy with the room it's massive, but especially the view. The view is breathtaking. Sintuk Over the golf course, golf with the ocean in the background, and I couldn't figure out why there was a golf resort in Bontang, a very small city, but it's because. From my balcony, we can actually see the largest fertilizer company in all of Southeast Asia. And when the managers or the owner of this big company, they come to Bontang to have that meetings, is the reason they, they have a and golf they play course. Golf. So uh, that makes more sense. But now I'm just gonna unpack my things. I'm gonna have the cheesecake that they have put in place for me here at the room. That's very nice. Looks and then I'm gonna get ready for tomorrow where we will meet Pa Ambo and his pet Riska. So uh, yeah, I am we'll see you really guys curious to Good see night. that crocodile. Selama pagi, guys. It is my first day here at Hotel Bintang Sintuk, and now Bintang it is Sintuk. time to hop on Machan and drive to North Bontang, where I will meet Pa Ambo and his family. I'm super excited to meet him, but also. A little bit worried because he texted me yesterday as saying that his pet is actually not that easy to find. So I have no idea if this will be a success or not. But <laughs> only one way to find out, and that's a try. So let's, let's give get it a on try. Machan and let's go. The pet crocodile. Just a quick 10 that minute is ride very later, interesting. I had arrived at Guntung in North Bontang. Was that a mosque? It is a mosque, I think. In North Bontang. Berapa lama, Bu? Masuk ke dalam. Eh, uh, sini? Eh, jalan kaki. All right, guys. So, ah, the CCTV. Okay. Aman. Okay. Terima kasih ya. All right, guys. We so, found a parking spot. Aman. For aman is safe. Machan, because we cannot ride all the way to Pa Ambo's house. So, dear Bu Wiwi, she is escorting me now with her daughter to his house. It's a very small kampung. And I believe we're quite close to the water. Wow, look at that. That is where his we can see the big pet crocodile lives. Factory from Probably. Here. <laughs> Selamat pagi. Selamat pagi, Mr. <laughs> Apa kabar? Alhamdulillah, baik. Ah, puasa hari ini? Puasa lah. Ah, Mantap, selama puasa, Mantap. Selamat ya. Assalamualaikum. Yeah. Enggak, saya Christian. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Muda-muda yeah. hamburger. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Hey, so guys, I have only heard about this guy through YouTube, but now I'm here at his home. Salama pagi ba. Aba ka ba. Crocodile man. Terima kasih banyak ya bu. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now I want to sit down, have okay. a chat with Pambo, and then we're gonna take a look around here where he lives. <laughs> oh, <little. laughs> I then sat down with a 50-year-old YouTuber, Pa Ambo, who moved here 30 plus years ago. Without knowing, it would eventually make him the viral YouTuber of East Kalimantan. Okay. Never heard Pa'ambo. of him. Salam kenal lagi. Salam. I'm gonna check his channel right after Pa'ambo this video. YouTube, yeah? Yeah. Karena Pa Ambo punya berapa subscriber? Sudah satu juta lebih. More than one. Oh, he has a golden plaque. <laughs> Impressive. Sudah berapa tahun bikin YouTube? Dua, dua tahun lebih. Awalnya saya bikin YouTube melalui orang. Karena anak-anak masih kok kerja dulu kan. 
ya setelah dia selesai kerja aku panggil ke sini saya alihkan ke anak-anak bikin YouTube Pak Ambo bikin konten tentang tentang buaya buaya ya buaya saya bersama Rika itu dari kecil Rizkanya awalnya ketemu di situ di dalam pekerjaan Rizka ikut saya sekitar sepapan panjangnya satu meter lebih sampai sekarang 25 tahun jalan 26 tahun sudah besarnya Rika sekarang hampir satu meter lebarnya panjangnya hampir lima meter dan <coughs> Boya Rizka That is a big ke pit. Sini juga, iya ke sini nanti kalau dia lapar ke sini dia depan rumah iya sini, sini. Eh. jadi The setiap hari Boya Rizka comes to his ke home. sini enggak juga enggak juga setiap hari karena seminggu dua kali kalau saya lihat Boya di sini pertama kali mungkin saya sedikit takut tapi <laughs> Mereka bukan takut? Enggak. Di sini malah Rizka dicari kalau enggak ada datang dicari sama orang. Rizka mana om? Aku tunggu aja nanti That dia naik. So sweet. Nanti kita saksikan jalan ke muara. <laughs> Sama-sama. Enggak apa-apa Rizka. Sabar. Iya? Yeah. Kalem dia. Kalau ada tamu itu dia sambut bagus-bagus. Jadi buaya Rizka eh, bukan bahaya ya? Bukan. Dia bukan ancaman bagi kita. Malah dia jagain kita nanti. Makanya no bilangnya orang di sini buaya Rizka penjaga daerah Guntung. <laughs> Penyelamat. She is the guardian. Pak Ambo puasa hari She's, ini ya? Ya puasa. His guardian angel. Alhamdulillah. Jadi mungkin sore ini kita bisa buka puasa bersama ya? Ya, tidak apa-apa. Oke. Okay. <laughs> Siap. Alright guys, I've now met with Pak Ambo and... He is such a kind man, you know. He's you come here to a very to small town, guy. and you can find a YouTuber with more than a million subscribers. <laughs> His videos are actually doing really, really good consistently. In a bit, we're gonna go with the boat. We're gonna I'll head definitely subscribe to, the river to his channel. And see if we can find Boya Riska. So, very excited, but a little bit nervous at the same time. <laughs> So Ardian is Pa Ambo's video man for making his YouTube and his second assistant. So now it's time to go and look for why well, the content creator oh, crew. Here. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. Let's go and, and we are meet way. Riska. Bye guys. See you. Ada. <laughs> okay, Captain ya, sorry Captain. <laughs> Captain is I am holding really, a GoPro really in his hand. I can find the crocodile. I'm so excited to see it. And you know we have brought a big bucket of chicken there. I was actually about to ask what do they feed crocodile? the crocodile? And it will come right up to the boat if we can find it. Fingers crossed, guys. Bro, Fingers this crossed. is dangerous. And so. With kilos of chicken in the bucket, we set out to hand feed a wild five meter long crocodile. <laughs> this With is my insane. eyes wide open and my hands safely inside the boat, we went to look in the mangrove area. Would it lay and wait for us? Was it under us? Behind us? There was only one way to find out. Five minutes with the boat and we already found Riska, the crocodile. <laughs> He's greeting the crocodile. Salam alaikum. <laughs> Salam alaikum, ya crocodile. <laughs> Let's break the. F <laughs> He's gonna break the fast. It's iftar time. <laughs> oh my god. It is mass. Bro. Is this really happening? Holy mo! <laughs> Guys, it is right next to me. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Riska is greeting okay, teman -teman, kita mulai her owner. Putri. Riska is making a YouTube go. video. <laughs> Oh my goodness!
this? Oh my god, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to skip the ad go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Kristen is petting the crocodile. But he's going to the tail, he's still afraid. It's like touching It's really dinosaur. scary. So guys, we are extremely lucky because we met him just after, yeah, like five, ten minutes. Sometimes they have to <laughs> look for him for one, two hours. Look at the beauty of the sun crocodile. Oh yeah? I cannot believe it. So yeah, in he luar biasa. This is Tapi, fascinating. Tahu, oh, itu riska. Even at night. He's <laughs> kissing the crocodile. <laughs> you can tell that this is about pure joy and no fear for Paambo. To this date, he has made more than 350 YouTube videos with Because as he says, she's family. Wow. I am Phew. impressed. Sit <laughs> down. All we can hear is did the she, birds. Did she leave? And then sometimes the fish as they jump up from the water. Every time you hear a small fish jump up, you're like, where's the croc? Completely it's calm. It's like a Hollywood movie. They're just, it's like they're looking for their dog or cat. The difference like is that any other pet. this is real. That makes sense. Who doesn't want to sleep? That is a gigantic crocodile. <laughs> But keep in mind that they have done this for 20 plus years. So please, don't go petting any crocodile you find after watching this video. Goodness. Set our course back to Kuntung in our small wooden boat. All right, guys, it is now one o'clock and I really have to get some lunch. But as it is Ramadan and all of the family is fasting, I didn't want to eat there in front of them. Uh, even the kids, even Torek here is also fasting. Uh, Tarik, hari ini, ya? Yeah. So I will go back to the hotel, get some lunch, and then we will be back here again for Buka Puasa with pa what a splendid Ambo video. And his family. Yeah. Thank you, Christian, for recording All right, guys. these golden moments for us. It is now almost time for Buka Puasa here in Pontang tonight. They can start breaking the fast at 6.30, so it's almost 6 now. So okay. we're going to Paambo's house, and then we're going to break the fast with his family. So, uh, yeah. Wow. Check this view behind me. That is that luar biasa. That sunset is unreal. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Siap untuk buka puasa, Pak? Ya. Ya? Iya. Gimana rasanya sore ini? Haus? Ya, sangat <laughs> Semangat ya. Iya. Karena kewajiban. Iya. Oke, Pak. Oke. Mari ya. Lovely people. Honestly, guys, the day couldn't end any better. We're sitting here on Pambos balcony. We're enjoying the view over the river as the sun is setting and in 10-15 minutes, we will be opening the fast together. I haven't been fasting, but it they have, if so I know time. how excited they are. They're probably super Allah hungry laka and sumtu wabika amantu so, um, I'm honored to be allowed to join them tonight. So. Wa ala rizqika aftartu. Yeah. And I think that's going to be it for today, guys. <laughs> I wasn't Ooh. sure if it was just because I was there, but Pa Ambo's lovely wife had made the most incredible feast for us Bro. to enjoy together. People are so generous and in nice Indonesian style, and kind. We enjoyed the lovely dinner in a circle on the floor with a lot of talk about YouTube. It was just perfect. Selamat pagi, guys. So uh, today I do not have a lot of big plans besides doing some editing and then tonight I have invited Pa Ambo and his family to come and join me here at the hotel for Buka Buasa because what they did for me yesterday was so nice, allowed me to join them. So today I wanted to do something nice for them. 
But first, I wanted to check out the golf course. And today I'm here with. Let's go golfing. And today I'm here with Bima. Okay. Bye, Bima. Nalanda? Ah, bagus. Ayo, Mari. Okay, the driving range dulu, ya. So the hotel had asked me if I could do a bit of promotion for their golf course. And I thought, well, how hard can golf really be? Worst case, I can always just edit the video to make me look like a pro golfer. The thing is that his video is so engaging that you never get enough of it. You never get tired. Nice editing. <laughs> Actually, that wasn't my first shot. That was a good one. <laughs> and after that successful warm up, Bima thought that I was ready for the green. Ta <laughs> Kristen is drifting. Again, Bima has high expectations for me, so uh, let's see how this goes. Bima then showed me how to use a driver, and it looked fairly easy. But it's not. Bima then said that I might be better with an iron. It's easier said than hey. done. Luckily, Bima was extremely patient, but it was starting to get rather embarrassing. And I noticed the expectations were getting higher, so I stepped up my game. A cool editing skill. Manta, <laughs> manta. So I had actually invited Bambo and his entire family to come here to my hotel, invite them for dinner, for Puka Boasa, and, and then it just started pouring. Oh. It is pouring now like crazy. We have like 10 what minutes until it's time for Puka Boasa, and because they're riding bikes. So, oh, I feel so bad for them. Now they're stuck in rain because of me. I cannot Puka Boasa. But luckily, the kind staff at Hotel Bintang Sintuk quickly arranged a private room for us with some of my favorite dishes they had been so kind to extend to me the day before. Don't forget to visit Bontang, guys. Thank you so much, Kristen, for making this video for us. I wholeheartedly enjoyed watching it. It was a cool experience. Well, guys, I'm grateful to you for watching the video till this moment and thank you so much for supporting my channel. Terima kasih banyak. If you enjoyed watching it just like I did, you already know what to do. Hit that like button and if you are new to my channel, do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button. I want you to stay safe wherever you are. I'll definitely catch your next reaction videos. Take a good care of yourselves and peace. Sampai jumpa.